yeah, so I've decided to do another video and I really hope that you all enjoyed my everyday makeup look. I hope it was easy to follow and I hope it was just nice to watch. So I've decided to do another video and this one I'm going to do is a smoky eye, but it's a really easy smoky eye. Everyone asks me how to do smoky eye, it is so easy. So I'm going to use a MAC palette. You don't have to use MAC, you can use any eyeshadow you like. Judas here, he's in his dancer. Um, this one is the Dusky Rose Times 9 MAC palette, but in it is a really nice um, like brown shade, but you can use any brown shade that you like. I've done all of my makeup just the same way as I've done it. Dog is back in. The same way as I've done it um, in my previous video. So if you want to know how I do on my base and everything, go and have a look on there. I will go in more depth to how to make your makeup last, like what brushes I've used, but just to start off with, I want my videos to be really simple. So again, this is why I'm going to do this really simple smoky eye, and I'm not going to do everything else that I've done on my face. So, um, right, so I'm going to take this brown shade here, and I always use a flat brush to pop this on with, so I have a sh I'll show you. I'll link all the brushes that I use down below for this because I'm literally only going to use about three brushes. So I pack it all onto the brush, quite a lot, tap it off, and normally if I wanted this to last again I would use a primer. I like to use the Smashbox 24 hour um, eyeshadow primer, it's amazing. Obviously I work on a lot of brides so a lot of my brides who watch this will know that their makeup stays on really well, but I'm not going to use that now. Literally I've just got some foundation on my eyelids just to even out the skin tone, get rid of any vein, vein sort of colours. So I'm going to pop some of this on and literally just pack it over my eyes. It's going to look really messy at first, but that's fine. I'm going to just pop it on my lid. The reason why I'm using this brush is because this is why I can pack it on. If I start using a brush that looks this shape, it's not going to go on so dense as how dense I want it to go on. So I'm just pushing that in. And then once I've got like probably about this much, I'm only going to the crease. So I'm not going further than that because once I start blending it, which is what I'm going to do now, this is a real technique brush, I don't know, it's just says 200 but you can use any big fluffy brush to do this and I'm going to just blend what I've just put on so I like to go through the crease so I'm blending the seams so it's totally seamless on my lid. The, the trick to do an eyeshadow is blending if you haven't blended your eyeshadow it looks bad so I mean if I was just to leave it like this I don't think that would look very good so as you can see, it's blended in quite nicely. I'm going to carry on doing that, put a bit more on, going right up to this crease now because I've started to blend it out, so it's going to look even. And I'm going to use a different blending brush. This is a Zoeva brush. This is the Lux Petite Crease, hence crease. Now I'm going to go in my crease with this and just go back and forth like a windscreen wiper. And that is what Charlotte Tilbury says. And I say that every single time because that's literally what you're doing, going back and forth like a windscreen wiper through that crease. So it should start blending in. Now, I'm going to use a, 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 a lighter brown shade now, and I think what I'm going to go for is probably, this looks like quite pinky, this one, but um, it isn't very pink. It's just quite like a neutral brown. So I'm going to go in with the brush that I used to pack it on with, and I'm going to use the other side that I haven't used, tap it off, and I'm just going to go through the crease again. And then take my blending brush and go through that. So it's really, really easy. You want to blend it right out to the brow bone now. Okay, so now what I would normally go and do is I take this crease brush using the darker shade that I used and now I'm going to go on the bottom lash line. So I always tap off the excess. If you don't tap off the excess then you're going to probably get fallout and because I've just done my foundation I don't really want fallout because then once I wipe off it's just going to smudge it. So I'm going to run this on my bottom lash line, again back and forth. You really don't need to be precise with this to be honest, it just depends how sort of smoky you want it to look. Might do a little bit more. Also doing this on the bottom lash line makes your bottom lashes look thicker so once I go on with the mascara it will help just make it all look thicker, really. Okay. 
I'm quite happy with that, just run through this crease. And I think for me, as a smoky eye, that would do like something that's wearable. You can do it with black, but I would suggest if you're going to do a black smoky eye, buying yourself a really good eyeshadow because the thing is, when you use cheaper eyeshadows, like from, I mean, not necessarily like really cheap, like if even Revlon or Max Factor, L'Oreal, they often have their little palettes. If you try and use a black from one of them, the pigment isn't very good, so you're constantly packing it on, wiping it around, and it's just not building up. So you, I, I think eyeshadows is something is worth spending money on definitely because like this is this will last so long like you 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 won't hit pan for a long time. I'm gonna do this eye now and I'm gonna fast forward it because there's no point me talking through the same thing again. Okay, I think that's about enough. Um, so you could either leave it like this, just put your mascara on. So I'm gonna go ahead, put some mascara on, and then I'm gonna do a wing liner because I know everyone loves a wing liner and wants to know how to do it. So I'm gonna wax the mascara on, fast forward this, and then go to that. Okay, so I've just done a thin layer of mascara. I always do my mascara before I go on and do my liquid liner. I'm not sure why, I've just always done it. Um, this is the Soap and Glory Super Cat uh, Liquid Black Eyeliner Pen, and this is like a little, um, it's like a felt tip really, it's quite easy to use. So to do my eyeliner, I always have my eyes open and I tend to look down. It's gonna be quite impossible to be honest, do it with your eyes closed because it's gonna look different when you open your eyes. So I just literally pop it on top of my lash line And I do quite a thin line at first because you can always add more. It's always a pain in the ass to take it off. So I'm always looking down and then sort of look up, see what it looks like. Then I'm gonna go on to do a wing. So to do a wing, again, I always look down and I'm just going sort of almost towards the end of my eyebrow. So I would probably do a little dot there, bring it down so I can see my line. And then I'll usually look down and then just follow that along. and then thicken it up and even it up. And obviously if you do like make, you want it sharper, you can just use your finger or a cotton bud. And that's how I do my wing liner. So I'm gonna do the other side, fast forward it, and then I'll come back. Now I'm going to pop on some more mascara, I quite like that eyeliner, it's quite easy to use. The reason why it's easy to use is because it's not really wet, when you use a really wet liquid liner it then it can get quite messy so if you're new and you want to learn how to do it definitely get a felt. Um, if you want any like more information and advice on what liquid pencils and liners to use just message me and I'll leave like a comment or I'll do a video on all the different products that I like to use really. I'm quite mixed on all of my products like in my kit I have a lot of drugstore, a lot of like high end, I suppose because I'm lucky enough to try it all, it, I, it's nice to see it work. So there we go, I'd say that's done. Um, so it is it is quite dark but it's, it's a smoky eye at the end of the day and it's easy to do, I've used two colours in this eyeshadow palette. So you just need a, a darker brown and then a more of a neutral shade to blend in. I'd say like three or two eyeshadow brushes. Always make sure they're clean when you do it. If you try and apply and blend your eyeshadow with dirty brushes, you're just going to carry on wiping eyeshadow around. That's my biggest advice and um, any brushes you can use really. But I would really recommend using the Real Technique or MAC brushes. Um, I'll put a description down below of what I use. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. and. Jude's been so good, he's been in advance the whole time. I'll show you him. Jude! Hello! 
so he's been so good so I really hope you enjoyed this video and I really enjoy making them so let me know if there's other makeup advice and tutorials that you'd like to see as well